Hi there, this is Kent IP and I'm going to tell you how to rewire Vocaloid 2 into Fruity Loop Studio. So uh, what you're gonna do, you're gonna open your Vocaloid editor, go to settings, preferences and audio settings. The default output device should be your audio device. What you're gonna do, you're gonna change it to rewire master. Then press OK and close your Vocaloid editor. I'm just gonna minimize it, but you close it. And open Fruity Loop Studio. Then, what you're gonna do, you are gonna open your pattern board. And I already have my uh, Vocaloid 2 rewired channel here, but I'm gonna show you how to edit. You go to channels, add one, select rewired, and there it is. And now you have a new rewired channel here. The channel window is already open with the plugin window in front. And you're going to click on this drop down menu which says client and select Vocaloid 2. I can select it here because I already have a rewired channel where I selected it. So you can select the same rewire input twice. So now we are good to go. After doing this we're going to reopen our Vocaloid 2 editor and maybe you have already noticed that there are four blank texts at the beginning of each Vocaloid song. It starts with minus three and goes to zero to start with tact one but uh, Fruity Loops doesn't really recognize that so in any Fruity Loops song you want to rewire your Vocaloid 2 the voice will actually start to come out in the fourth tag or after the fourth tag. So if you want to have the singing right away at the start of the song you have to start the whole song after the fourth tag and then cut it after compiling it. So, but to work properly you have to look after one more thing and that is the tempo or the BPM setting. BPM means beats per minute and the standard BPM setting for a new Vocaloid song is 120 and I've already adjusted my tempo in Fruity Loops to 120 as well. And if they differ, there's gonna come out a lot of gibberish when your Vocaloid is playing inside of Fruity Loops. So, you can if you have another, uh, another tempo setting in Fruity Loops than in your Vocaloid editor, adjust it manually by clicking on it, double click, or by going to Job and Import Rewire Host Tempo. That's the easy way. I discovered it uh, recently. So, if we go to the beginning, you see that I've already put in some half notes. It's a C, E, G, a simple C major, and uh, performed by Hatsune Miku. All you have to do now is press play. Uh, usually, I've already done it. But when you press play the first time after editing, well, I'm just going to edit something, add another C. And if you press play now, it's going to ask you, do you want to rewire? It does say, do you want to rewire, even though there are funny signs here. Play, uh, press yes, and it's going to rewire. Now if you press play again, the play button will be in line, and you are ready to go. The Vocaloid 2 editor is now rewired to Fruity Loop Studio. You open your songboard right here. And now if you go to the fourth tag, you have to let it play one tag before uh, he has synced in the Vocaloid editor in the Fruity Loop Studio. And uh, then you're gonna hear the singing after pressing play in Fruity Loops. So, and that's how you rewire Vocaloid 2 into Fruity Loop Studio. Next time I'm going to tell you how to equalize it properly. And then maybe how to equalize several single tracks of different voices from the Vocaloid 2 editor in Fruity Loop separately. So, have a nice day folks.